the deadly misunderstanding here in Queens, New York. Prosecutors say a tourist knocked on the window of a car thinking it was an Uber. The driver allegedly punching the tourist who fell and hit his head and later died. Tonight, that driver, a college basketball coach, is charged with assault. Here's ABC's Adrian Banker. No comment. Tonight, this Wake Forest assistant coach on leave charged with assault after a man he allegedly punched died from his injuries. Police say these images are of Jamil Jones leaving the scene moments after a late night altercation with Shondor Zabo. Detectives say Zabo was in New York for a wedding and after several drinks called for an Uber, but his phone died. Witnesses tell police he knocked on the windows of multiple cars searching for his ride. Prosecutors say Jones was seated in his white SUV and that when Zabo allegedly hit his window, the coach got out and punched Zabo in the face, knocking him out. His head hit the pavement. A witness who does not want to be identified says Jones then leaned Zabo's body against a car before leaving the scene. So he would stop uh, choking on his blood till the ambulance came. Zabo died two days later. On Thursday, Jones turned himself in, charged with misdemeanor assault. Jones' family expressing their condolences, saying the coach is a man of good character. Zabo's family today is not accepting their apology. I'm sorry, your condolences are a little bit too late. The medical examiner ruled the death a homicide, and the DA says that Jones' charges could be upgraded. Just a sad story all the way around, Tom. Adrian Bankert for us tonight. Adrian, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.